Hey, library friends. Good to see you. We sure do miss seeing you live at the library, but we hope you're enjoying all the stories and everything everybody's been telling this week on Facebook. And hopefully we'll be back together soon to do some stories live. Today, NR and I are going to do a story about Chip the Super Rabbit and his sister Buttercup. This is a story that I made up several years ago for my uh, Sunday school class. It's one that's got a moral that we'll get to at the end, but it's a pretty cool story. And NR is going to help me act it out. It is a repetition story, so your kids can actually do the repeat part along with us. The repetition that they're going to say over is that normal rabbits do normal rabbit things. They hop around, they eat grass, and they dig holes. So here you go. Here's our story about Chip the Super Rabbit and his sister Buttercup. Chip thought he was a super rabbit. He was a rabbit, but he thought he was a super rabbit. He had a cape and everything. And Buttercup, she was just a regular rabbit. She did normal rabbit things. So every day they would go out into the woods and they would hop around. And before they would separate, Chip would say, Buttercup, what are you going to do today? And Buttercup would say, oh, just normal rabbit stuff. I'm going to hop oh, around, no. eat grass, eat grass. and dig eat holes. holes. And Chip would say, oh, not me. Oh, no. I'm going to find somebody that needs to be saved. And off they would hop. Well, that first day, Chip could hear something up in a tree. And he looked up, and way up in the tree was Betty Bird. And he's like, Betty, Betty, I'm a super rabbit. Let me save you from that really high, tall tree. And Betty Bird said, Chip, I'm a bird. That's what we do. We live in trees. I have a comfortable nest, and I fly, and my babies are even up here with me. We're all safe, and this is where we live. But it's almost supper time. It's about time for you and Buttercup to go home. So they'd hop through the woods and they would meet up. And on the way home, Chip would say, Buttercup, what'd you do today? And she said, oh, normal rabbit stuff. I hopped around, I'd eat grass, and I'd dig holes. So they'd go home and talk about their day. And at night, Chip would dream about trying to save people. So every morning they'd go out and then he would be ready. Today was the day he'd find somebody to save. And he would say, Buttercup, what are you going to do today while I'm out trying to save people? And Buttercup would say, oh, just regular rabbit stuff. I'm going to hop around, eat grass, and dig okay. holes. And Chip would say, not me. I'm going to find somebody that needs to be saved. As he was hopping around that day, he heard this weird sound over by the rocks. And he looked, and there was Lenny Lizard stuck in between two rocks. And Chip said, Lenny, Lenny, let me save you out of those rocks. And Lenny said, Chip, I'm a lizard. This is where I live and what I do. Lizards like places like this. They're warm and they're comfy and sometimes we find food and I love living in a rock. But it's almost supper time now. You better go home. On the way home, they would hop around until he'd find Buttercup and he'd say, well, Buttercup, what'd you do today? Buttercup would always say, oh, normal rabbit stuff. I hop I around. around. I eat grass. I and I dig holes. And they'd go home and every night, Chip would dream about somebody out there. Surely he was a super rabbit. He could save somebody. And the next morning he'd get up. And that day he was ready. He was going to save somebody. And he, on the way out through the woods, he would say, now, Buttercup, what are you doing today? And she'd say, oh, normal rabbit stuff. Just going to hop okay. around, eat okay. grass, and okay. dig holes. Chip would say, not me, I'm going to save somebody today because I'm a super rabbit. And off they'd go into the woods. Well, as Chip was hopping around that day, he heard he heard splashing down at the creek. And he's like, oh, oh, somebody's in the creek. I could probably save them. I'm a super rabbit. Listen to all that splashing. And he got there and looked, and there was Freddy Fish in the water splashing around. And Chip said, oh, Freddy, let me save you out of that water. And Freddy looked at me and said, I'm a fish. Water's what we do. We live in water. That's where my food is. That's how I get oxygen. That's what I do. And he said, but you rabbits better be getting home before dark. And off they'd hop and he'd find Buttercup and they'd go home. And on the way home, they'd talk about what they'd done that day. And Buttercup would always say, normal rabbit stuff, hop around, eat grass, and dig holes. So that night, Chip dreamed all night about somebody that he could save. He knew there was somebody out there that a super rabbit could save. And the next morning, they got up and they went out. And like always, he looked at Buttercup and said, what are you going to do today? And Buttercup said, oh, normal rabbit stuff. I'm going to hop around, eat grass, 
and dig holes. And Chip said, not me. I'm a super rabbit. I'm finding somebody to save today. And off they went on their way in the woods. Well, Chip found this big, deep hole and he peeked into it and he got a little closer and he looked a little closer and he fell in. Oh, no, Chip fell in that water, in that creek, in that hole. He was in a hole. And he thought, no big deal. I'm a super rabbit. I'll just fly out. I've got my cape. I can do this. And he jumped and tried and he couldn't get out. And he jumped and tried again and he couldn't get out. And the longer he was in there, the more he started to realize maybe he wasn't super rabbit at all. And he sat there and the longer he sat there, the more scared he got and the more sad. And he, he was really scared and he was really sad and he hollered for help and nobody heard him. And he's like, oh, I'm supposed to be a super rabbit, but I'm really not. I'm just a plain old rabbit and I don't know what I'm going to do. And it started to get dark and Buttercup hopped around looking for him. Till she finally found him and there he was in that hole and she said, Chip, what are you doing way down in that big deep hole? And Chip said, oh, I fell in and I can't get out. And Buttercup said, you're a super rabbit, fall out. And Chip said, oh, I can't, I'm really not a super rabbit. I'm just a plain old normal rabbit. And Chip, Chip said, somebody's got to help me. I've got to get out somehow. And Buttercup said, I can't do anything. I'm just a normal old rabbit. All I do is hop around, eat grass, and dig holes. And then it hit her. She thought, dig holes. I dig holes really good. And she started to dig. And she dug and she dug and she dug until she made a trail that she could get to Chip. And her and Chip could just walk out of the hole just by digging that trail. And Chip said, wow, apparently you're the super rabbit and have superpowers. And she said, nope, I'm just a normal rabbit. I do normal rabbit things. I hop around, I eat grass, and yes, I can dig holes. And she dug her way to save him that day. So that's a good story for all of us. We all have special talents and special abilities and things that we can do. We can't all do the same things. That's perfectly fine. You know, we're not all a Freddy fish or a Lenny lizard. We all live in different places and do different things, but we're all special. We're all important. And we all have a role in the world. Doesn't matter if you're one or 101. There's something special about you and something that you can do. So thanks for joining us today. We hope you have a good Easter weekend. And we really hope to get to see everybody again soon at the library. Thanks for joining us.